You don't think, for example, uh, there it was proposed by John McCain and President Bush supported this, a, a kind of a path to citizenship no. where you say you've got... Some... There's, already a, there's always been a path to citizenship. You just don't break into the country and expect to take that path. The collapse of a civilization is not just the replacement of rulers or institutions with new rulers and new institutions. It is the destruction of a whole way of life and the painful and sometimes pathetic attempts to begin rebuilding amid the ruins. Is that where America is headed? I believe it is. Our only saving grace is that we are not there yet and that nothing is inevitable until it happens. Why do you believe that America is headed toward a collapse? Well, domestically, there are so many uh, things going on that we, that we uh, lo have lost the sense of the values that the country has. Uh, and we now have an administration which is very actively trying to change the very way we govern, the very way we live our lives. Uh, that's the domestic part. That's sort of the slow poison, as it were. Mm -hmm. But the faster poison is that Iran is getting nuclear weapons. And people don't seem to understand what that means. Uh, the Japanese were a lot, in 1945, were a lot tougher than we are today. And yet it took only two nuclear weapons to get them to surrender. So people are saying, you know, Iran may have only a couple of nuclear bombs. That's all they need. If they're, if they're willing to die and we're not, then there's nothing short of surrender. So what, what do you think we should do about Iran? Stop them from getting nuclear weapons. And that would mean attacking them or, sure. or acquiescing in an Israeli attack? Yeah, I, I'm, you know, it's, it's, it's sad that, that uh, it's a question of acquiescing in an Israeli attack. Uh, uh, there have been indications that Saudi Arabia would be quite willing to have Israeli planes fly over there at night and bomb uh, Iran. And then, of course, lot larger protests with the United Nations in the morning. Uh, but uh, the very fact that they have to fly over Iraq, fly around Iraq, because there were American uh, fighter planes there who, who might shoot down the Israeli planes. I mean, that really does show uh, where we've come. You know, a, a lot of people recognize the threat of Iran, but you're actually one of the few people that I've talked to who really see it as a kind of, uh, you know, the, the term these days is existential threat to the United States. It really changes our existence. Oh, ab absolutely. Going all the way back to the Ayatollah Khomeini, uh, he said that his first loyalty is not to Iran, it's to Allah. And so if, if you know, we can't deter them if, with, with the threat that we'll come in and destroy a whole lot of innocent Iranians, uh, they don't care. I mean, you, you can't deter suicide bombers. So deterrence worked. We're here at the Hoover Institution, which is home to a lot of people who were architects of the deterrence policy. Deterrence worked during the Cold War, but you don't think it will work today? No, because you can't deter suicidal people. You either stop them or you don't stop them. Do you think the administration is kind of distracted by what's going on on the economic side and not paying enough attention to Iran? Or do you no. think there's something more basic going on? No, I, I, I don't think they ever intended to do anything serious to stop Iran. Uh, what they what they what they are doing uh, is a lot of charades at the United Nations, uh, which follows a whole years. We've had all kinds of charades at the United Nations uh, and at the uh, League of Nations before that for the very same purpose of giving the impression that you're doing something when you're not doing a thing. I wanted to hear your views on immigrants. What, what do you think about immigration in general in the United States? Well, I think first of all, there's no such thing as an immigrant in general. Uh, I mean, there are some groups of immigrants. Uh, who come to this country and add tremendously. There are others who come here and go on welfare. Uh, and uh, I think one of the sad things is people tend to talk about immigrants in the abstract. And uh, there has never been a time in the history of the country when, when immigrants from different places were all the same. And so I think one of the things the United States has to be able to do in the long run is control the border, first of all. Because if you don't control the border, it is absolutely irrelevant what your policy is because other people will decide who gets in. This is a tough public policy question, maybe even a moral question. What do we do about illegal immigrants who are in this country, supposedly 10 million of them, 
who are already here, can we change the law and kick them out, or do we give them a path to citizenship, or what do we do, or ignore them, which is what we're doing now? Yeah, well, ignoring it is the most politically expedient thing to do. Um, the question is whether or not you want to enforce the law. And if you enforce the law, I think you'll solve 90% of the problem. Uh, you know, if, it's, if, if, you have, if, if you're, you're here illegally and you pay a price for that, fewer people will come, and many of those who are here now may decide that it's time to leave. The, the be, what, you don't have to, the silly notion that you have to search out every illegal immigrant, nobody is even at suggesting that. But do you agree, for example, with what Arizona is doing where... Yes. Okay. Wh they're, they're enforcing the law. And it's ironic that the government has stood idly by while all kinds of uh, cities across the country have publicly announced that they will not obey the law. And they did nothing. And now that Arizona says they're going to enforce the law, they're starting lawsuits against Arizona. So you don't think, for example, uh, there, it was proposed by John McCain and President Bush supported this, a, a kind of a path to citizenship no. where you say you've got... Some. There's already a, there's always been a path to citizenship. You just don't break into the country and expect to take that path. 